Hello everyone, I'm Michael Markey, and we hope you enjoyed the reveal trailer for Graven. Let's get right into the first 10 minutes of gameplay. of the orthogonal order humbly walks the parallel path, following the creator through service. Father to an adopted daughter, as fate would have it, he cherished her, and they shared a love of both learning and charity. But not all walk the parallel path. They serve another, not a creator. Not begotten, and their transgressions lay a heavy price upon the world. When love meets fear, even the humble heart feels wrath and righteous anger, giving birth to unknown strength. Red-handed from the blood of a heretic, the blood of a fellow priest, without being able to see how once more he is tried and found guilty. What divides contrition and shame? Acceptance. Acceptance. Succumbing to the burning sands and arguing not over the price of her life, he closes his eyes one last time. A prayer for peace. You will have to earn your peace. In Graven, you play as the priest, a member of the Orthogonal Order. Convicted for the murder of a fellow priest while trying to save your adopted daughter, you had been exiled to the Burning Sands. As you began to pass from this world, a mysterious voice spoke to you, and you found yourself awaking on a boat traveling into a swamp. The ferryman has not revealed his identity or intent, but seems happy enough to discuss the surroundings. Clearly, things are not well, with homes ablaze and funeral pyres roaring. Beasts that were once men prowl the outskirts of small hamlets. At times the only light in this accursed swamp are the funeral pyres. Other than the light you yourself make. This parks and what follows it is not. You die here, you become the swamp, preserved in the peat, or one with the rock. Much has not been taken care of since the plague arrived. Fitting. Time does seem to be standing still. Don't forget your staff, priest. It's the only thing that will keep you alive. You're gonna need it more than I. Welcome to Cruxfirth. Graven is an immersive sim focused on exploration, problem solving, and puzzles. You start with two items that cannot be dropped and stay with you for the entire game. This is your staff and your spellbook. Your staff can be used in a lot of different ways, like dealing blunt damage and smashing obstacles, but you can also socket in a range of different crystals to give the staff many unusual properties, including changes to yourself and the environment. 
The spell book and journal, on the other hand, can be used to cast and store discovered spells in. The spell book and staff are largely strategic in use, meaning that many of the different spells won't necessarily do damage. Instead, they will give you a strategic advantage, such as using the discharge spell to stun an enemy, or using the displacement spell to relocate a trap trigger. We found our first item here, the health potion. In Graven, you have what we call an action bar, and whenever you pick up any item in the game, you can drag it into your action bar and place it in whatever slot you please. Every single time you want to use an item, you select it in the slot and consume it, or throw it. Throwing an item, such as the health potion, is really beneficial, especially in co-op play, where you can throw a health potion to heal a wounded ally. As you can see, we have a lot of destructibility in Graven. You can destroy almost everything except for core game geometry. But if something looks like it can be destroyed, it probably can. They can even chain react like with the In Flame spell. We have many different lore pieces spread throughout the world. In this case, you can see a few posters. If you decide to go look for whoever is wanted in these posters, you might unlock brand new journal entries and quests throughout the game. New areas, new weapons, items, etc. Graven is a very exploration heavy game. The more you explore, the more you go into depth of the world, the more we reward you. The first person you meet in Cruxfirth is the Tax Collector. He needs you to help draw away the infected horde that is beating down upon this little town. They have locked down the town square and they need your help. After receiving information, you can open up the journal and see what the priest has written down. The journal is basically his diary. In this case, the Tax Collector gives you a hint. He speaks of an old sunken lighthouse nearby in the swamps and theorizes that if it is lit, the glow might be able to draw away some of the plagued horde to take pressure off of the quarantine barricades. Graven doesn't have quests necessarily. We don't want to handhold the player too much, however we also don't want to make the player feel completely lost or scratching their heads of what to do next. The journal, which also contains spells, is a recollection of whatever the priest experiences. He will continually write down who he talked to, what they've told him, etc. And by using that, we give the player hints of what to do next in the game. You can have many different journal entries going on at the same time, and some of them are key to the main progression of the game, while others are kind of side stories that you can explore. This is the blacksmith, one of the merchants, and in Graven, you have one currency you can use to upgrade your weapons and spells. Gold. You can acquire gold by solving different objectives in the game, finding secrets, exploring, and killing enemies. For more magical improvements, you'll want to see the alchemist. However, we have a task. This is the Brine Muskeg, the swamp where there is a sunken lighthouse. So let's see if we can find it.
As a 3D Realm staple, we do have dismemberment. Combat is brutal, and the effects can linger. If you're not comfortable dealing with multiple opponents, you can always try stunning them. This is one of the first weapons you can pick up in Graven, the wrist crossbow. Precise, reliable, but not always the perfect choice. That was a sneak peek of the first 10 minutes of Graven. For the full first hour of uncut gameplay, head over to our YouTube channel after the show and check it out. Thanks for watching.